All right, we're live. Hello. Um, thank you for watching our Tai Chi presentation. My name is Cindy, and my classmates in this group are Janelle, Jose, and Gregoria. Tai Chi is a form of exercise and stress relief that started as a form of martial arts in China. Tai Chi works to change the subtle energy in and around our bodies called Chi. The moves of Tai Chi are taken from martial arts, the martial arts world, and have a defensive nature by origin. However, the goal is not to be closed, but to be open, and to let go of your daily stresses, which will improve and restore your body's natural energy flow. One of the goals of practicing Tai Chi is letting go and allowing your body to go through the moves, or forms as they're called, that can manipulate and elongate your muscles, while helping with built up tension and energy flow. Our energy flow can become blocked from simple things with day to day life. And a, when a person practices Tai Chi, multiple moves are combined to form a choreographed dance. And this act can uh, release these blocks um, that calm the body and the mind. So the historical origin of Tai Chi is a mixture of Chinese philosophy with physical surviving. Legend has it that a man witnessed the fight between a crane and a snake. The crane tried to use its feet to, defend, to defeat the snake. However, the snake was more agile and outmaneuvered the crane. In the end, the crane ended up giving up. Hence, um, Tai Chi has a unique style of boxing that emphasizes these characteristics. Internal strength, flexibility, agility, and not being forced. Philosophical concepts were then integrated with the movement. Research findings suggest that Tai Chi, when done, performed by sixth grade boys and girls, once done one, one hour per week, they experience well-being, calmness, relaxation, increased self-care, and self-awareness. In a study of 135 adults ages 40 to 69 uh, participating in exercise classes three times a week for a total of 16 weeks, uh, it showed that women who used Tai Chi as a mindfulness exercise had a decrease in anger, total mood disturbance, reduction in tension, and decrease in depression. When compared to other exercises that involve walking at a moderate, low intensity, low intensity plus relaxation, and a control group, Tai Chi did not seem to impact men as much as women. And that was due to the fact that you feel comfortable with the activity. And it's also suggested because it is not considered a high impact exercise. Current research suggests that this technique may improve balance and stability in muscles, reduce in the osteoarthritis, improve muscle po power, posture, flexibility, and help with fibromyalgia, as well as fat loss. This may also improve mood and breathlessness in people with COPD or heart failure and cancer. In some cases, they also reduce anxiety. So, can this manage? Well, the effectiveness of a Tai Chi reduction in stress may not be absolute, although one study showed a relationship between Tai Chi and mental health. So, this can also um, improve breathing, movement, and mental concentration. And it's also practice, which may reflect from personal life. Findings also suggest that promotes relaxation and relaxation and anger. In conclusion, today we talked about Tai Chi, a unique style of Chinese martial arts that integrates internal strength, flexibility, agility without using brute force. Its origin comes from a mixture of Chinese philosophy and survival techniques. Research suggests, suggests that one can experience well-being, calmness, relaxation, increase of self-care, among other positive factors. 
In a study of older adults that participated three times a week for six for a 16 week period in Tai Chi classes, it showed that they experienced a decrease in anger, a decrease of mood disturbance, a reduction in tension, and a decrease in depression. Among people with health conditions, current research suggests that Tai Chi can improve balance in elders, reduce knee pains, and improve strength, posture, flexibility, and in some cases can also reduce anxiety. Now you may be asking yourself, how can I start Tai Chi? Today it has gained a large popularity all over the United States. The best way to start and learn Tai Chi is to join classes with an accredited instructor. Many facilities now offer Tai Chi classes. For example, health clubs, community colleges, universities, education centers, and community centers. If one cannot attend a class, one can also find online, gu online guided material that demonstrates Tai Chi routines. DVDs, videos can also be purchased. This way people can take classes in their own time schedule, right in the comfort of their home. There are a large selection of routines that fall under Tai Chi. It is, very, it is a very low intensity exercise that targets many areas of the body and can also improve flexibility and strength. It is a great way to stay active and can be adapted to fit just about any fitness level. And that is it.